All right, so we've been handing out a bunch of focus mitts and we still have more here for those of you that want to come to the gym and borrow some focus mitts. But I do suggest that you keep holding focus mitts uh, for people inside uh, your family who are healthy. If people aren't healthy, then you need to not be holding focus mitts for each other. There's things you can do uh, as well. You might want to have a think about wearing some face masks and obviously uh, washing your hands and having your own uh, gear also uh, to be able to use your own gloves. You might even want to go and have two sets of focus mitts. It's going to be really up to you guys, but make sure that uh, you know everybody in your circle, probably like one or two people, remove to make sure uh, that you're not exposing yourself um, to this virus. Okay, so for today we're going to do a progressive combination and um, we're going to wear masks as well. Uh, just to show you that it, it can be done and it will be all right. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our mask on, and I hope you can you can hear me through this. Okay, make sure that we're not heavy breathing over each other, and I'm not touching my mouth. Okay, we're going to do a progressive combination today, which means we're just going to add one punch each time. After every punch, we're going to hit an angle. So the first punch is going to be a jab. And then we're going to hit an angle. The next one's going to be one, two. And then we're going to hit an angle. The next punch is going to be a one, two, three or a one, two, hook. One, two, hook, hook. And then we're going to add a uh, uppercut on the end. So we're going to go one, two, hook. Boom. No. Nope. hand. Okay, so let's look at that again. So it's going to be one, two, angle. One, two, angle. Then we're going to be one, two, hook. Good. And then we're going to double up that lead hand. One, two, hook. Uppercut. Angle. Okay. One more time. Yeah. Boom. Angle. One, two, boom. Angle. One, two, three, boom. Angle. One, two, three, boom. Angle. Okay. There's a real easy set of combinations. Let's give you a couple of tips for holding the pads. Elbows in, I don't want them to be able to push my rotator cuffs over, so always elbows in, and I'm gonna provide the same amount of force that he punches with back, and turn and make sure I'm making the correct shapes with the mitts. I don't wanna be out here, just a head apart. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, okay? It's very easy to do and before you know it you guys will be expert pad holders. Thank you. <laughs>